Hey yo, my name is Mini Shadow, and welcome to another episode of Dungeon Defenders. So, we uh, in the last episode we completed the bonus map, and we're off to the second act of the campaign. All right, let's let's uh, get into this level. Oh yeah, we also added some <laughs> cosmetics to our heroes to try and get a bit of visual clarity, so I know who I'm on. <laughs> so we've added the oh. These two heroes are sharing the same one. That was not the case when I logged off. <laughs> I'll have you know. Anyway, we put uh, all, all of the galaxy looking stuff on our DPS hero. We just put some red wings on our builder hero. And then this hero was going to just have the these wings, but apparently she got the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. But anyway. Let's just get into the build phase. I forgot to level up our heroes. I meant to do that. So range, gun, and then we'll put some points into damage. Okay. Get on our waller. Oh. We're on the waller. First wave. I accidentally started it. Can we do it or are we restarting? Let's see if we can do the first wave. On our waller on accident. No, surely we lose. I don't think, yeah, we surely we lose. Let's just restart really quick. <laughs> My bad. Okay. It happens. Let's get into the build phase and play some walls. Alright, um, yeah, I think we'll be able to place the owls on this and stack it for both lanes. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll place an owl here. Or a wall, sorry. And then... Hmm. Are there flyers on this map? I don't even remember. Place it back here. And then two more walls on this side. Again, we can probably get these to share the same owls. Right? Hopefully. Ooh, that's like... We're probably spawn killing at that point. That might be a little too far close without any without any actual, um, like, series EV walls, reflex, sorry, or the siren bubble. Okay, let's get into placing some owls now. We can, yeah, we can place one per wave lane. It's actually perfect. We'll have lots of cover. You know what? I was going to place it up here. Maybe we will. Is that still co covered? We'll place this one up here. And then I'm not sure if that's in the circle or not, but we'll find out. Place an owl here. And the last one up here. Okay, let's hop on our DPS. And... See what happens. If we get our only issue would be if we get an ogre at wave one, but I don't think we will. I don't. I'm not sure when. Oh my god! Look at the damage per hit. W with the new weapon upgrade, I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, we're just melting these guys now. Sheesh. We got that weapon upgrade at the. Uh, in the last episode, right? And this is our first time using it. I totally forgot. We're just just blasting them. Okay. Let's get some more owls down. Actually, maybe we'll put a cannon down. Oh, we got the last tower. What is this? The obelisk. Uh, lightning damage with in it with a slow. Oh, it's a CC. Attack. Okay. The obelisk shoots a beam of energy out of the out of the eye, dealing dam- it's a CC with oh. damage and applying a curse to nearby enemies, slowing them. Okay, is it an AO- oh, we have to try this. It's 40U, 70 cost. I've n yeah. We're just gonna place one per lane. <laughs> cannons? I don't know what the cannons are anymore. <laughs> We're trying obelisks. Now we'll put a cannon down per lane too. Excuse me, Owl, you're in the way. Each lane is also going to get a cannon.
Okay, is that is that all of them? Yep. All right, what do you do? I must observe. Or is the owl... We're going to sell the owl so I can see exactly what this is doing. Watch this be the lane the ogre comes out of. <laughs> oh, it's just... Is it... It's slowing down everything in the radius? Oh, that is interesting. That is very cool. Hey, don't you dare slip out, out into and automatically sell. We need these to complete our fusion sets. That is very cool. So it slows, it does damage over time to the target it's hitting, and then it has an AoE slow around it. Now, does that stack with other slows? Does that radius get bigger with range? And what is the... The rune? What is the rune? Questions. Okay, so let's add a cannon per lane now. One cannon per lane. We'll have one of each tower, essentially. <laughs> That's our stack. One of each tower. If it works, it works, right? I wonder how far we're going to be able to get. That is the question. How far can we get with owls only? Or with the guardian only, rather. Okay, it's nice to know have it's nice to have a bit of visual clarity between my heroes now. Should have done that from the beginning, but hey, it is what it is. Anything from the chest? I thought that was militia boots. Nope. Okay. Six thousand gold. So we have just a big damage tower that hits multiple targets. We have a stacking dot tower, so this thing needs some time to ramp up, but once it's going, it's it's doing... It. Oh, the tick damage is pretty spicy. And then we ha also have another... It's not so much damage over time, but... I guess they're all damage over time, technically, but... Anyway, um, this does consistent damage every... X amount of times to a target while slowing it. It's it's like a I want to put down the monk auras, <laughs> you know? It it works like a monk aura that's, that's shooting a target, <laughs> a moving monk aura. That gives us so much time to slow gives us a lot of time, extra time, for our towers to deal damage. It's very, very cool. Oh, what? It, oh, that's a bug. What are we shooting at? We're not shooting at anything. Are you going to reset when something walks in range? There we go. Oh, it's, it's targeting the... <laughs> oh, there goes that one, too. That They're both bugs. Wait, are all of them? Almost everyone is bugged. What is causing that? <laughs> I have no idea. They're just zapping indefinitely. Now imagine if uh, if the enemies were, you know, in front or something like that. If this line did just piercing damage. Might be a bit too strong. And there, there, I'm pretty sure there are there is a tower that does that, right? The flowers, I think, with a rune, they do piercing damage. We gotta level up, too. Okay, let's start upgrading. What do you get when you get upgraded? What's the value of your ensnare? Well, the ensnare went to 61 from 57. Okay, it's getting like 3 or 4%. That's a lot. DPS goes up a bit. So yeah, it looks like these guys are... I'm not sure what's causing them to bug out. If I can figure out a repro, I will report it. But I'll have to watch them a bit more to see exactly what's happening. And if, I think they're, if I had to guess, they're targeting a an enemy that ragdolls, and then when the ragdoll disappears, it's still trying to, sh it's still targeting it. I think that's what's happening.
Okay, where's our first ogre? Our towers are doing so much work though, and we and our DPS is getting up there too. We might even we might even bump up the difficulty because things are looking a little too smooth, right? I think we might bump up the difficulty next for the next map. Try it out on hard and see what happens. The ogres might be an issue on that level, but then hey, maybe we'll actually get to use our cannons and some hero DPS, get back to kiting the ogres again. It'll also be more experience, some slightly better loot. Overall, good stuff. I'm always down for that challenge, because right now, this this run's a little bit too smooth, right? We're not even using all of the DU. So, so much DU left over to use. <laughs> We haven't even upgraded, like, the majority of the towers. Even sitting on a level up. Okay, hopefully we get an ogre this way, right? Just upgrade the slow. When can we upgrade a third time? What level is that? But it seems like we have access to the entire kit for this hero now. So now it's just time to see how well it scales. Oh, look at that 7,000 damage. How well it scales uh, into the end game. We're hitting for 2,000 with our shield bash too. Get in there, let's get a flame strike. Ooh, almost 8,000. I want to see the ogre's HP. How much health does the ogre have? Or do, does this map even have an ogre? I remember this map used to not have any ogres. This map used to... <laughs> you could get real far on this map on survival. Just because you were only dealing with these enemies. So once these enemies, and it took a while for these enemies to have enough health for your towers to not be able to keep up. Because the ogres are what kind of caused the issues before, right? Or those are, they're one of the things that cause issues because of their health and damage. But if they're not there, then... <laughs> All right, how many militia pieces do we have? Militia. Oh, we have we have a third one. So we're just missing the chest piece. And then we'll have a full militia set for fused owls. And then these owls will do double damage. They'll also look really freaking cool. Oh, we're a sliver away from a level up. What's in our chest? Okay, you are noisy. Okay, what's in the chest? Oh, a katana. Slightly faster attack speed, but the DPS is real bad. Unfortunate. W would love to use a katana just for the sake of using a freaking katana, but we gotta we gotta keep the damage that we have. All right, let's get that level up in there. We'll put it into some more damage. Switch to our our builder, range, 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 and our waller. Oh, we got ten points for fortify. Nice. What are our walls looking at? 12k. Alright, well, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.